What's up, everybody? So, getting a couple hours of uh, work done today, just tying up some loose hands. Been enjoying my staycation with the family and having Emma at home now, which was something that I wanted to put myself in position to be able to do was to be present in that moment, right? And uh, not have to hurry back. You know, when we had Braxton, I wasn't in that position where I could leave Newell Strength for a period of time. Uh, but, you know, I have such a great team and great staff. So anyhow, I've been enjoying that and I wanted to make a new episode today to make sure I'm staying up on the game of unlocking your inner strength. And I wasn't quite sure if I was going to have time or what I would talk about. And then Bill Myers, who I saw is watching, had a nice post in our private Facebook group about uh, something I said a while ago about how hurried is a state of mind. So I think that's poignant and something that everybody can learn from. So I want to talk about that a little bit. So I've always uh, not... Yeah, I shouldn't say always, but I used to really struggle with being present in the moment. And it was, uh, well, I remember when I started dating Devin over a decade ago, I used to uh, tell her, man, I'm envious that you can just sit there and be present, and enjoy life. Whereas I was, my mind was always going. I couldn't, I couldn't turn it off as far as what I was trying to do. I was trying to build no strength at that point and I had this burning desire to be great and the problem was that that would take me out of the present moment a lot I was always thinking about how am I going to be the best in the world how am I going to do this so I was always taking myself and putting myself out into the future and through meditation and a lot of self-reflection and awareness and therapy and and just you know trying to grow uh I've come to, to really uh, be able to manage that, you know, that thought process. So you think about all great worldly religions, the main thing that they actually teach is to be present in the moment because you cannot express your full consciousness or love unless you're fully present in the moment. If you're scattered, right, if I'm out in the future, always thinking out in the future, I cannot be, I cannot express pure love. For those around me and, and my love for life and just the process so i've talked a lot about the anxiety gap right and the anxiety gap grows as you think further out into the future the further out into the future you think the more life speeds up it, it's it, it's a weird thing you know we a lot of people have this disease of the mind Right, and I'm re going through an old book called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, which is a great book, it had a huge impact on my life. Um, read it a few times, but I'm going back through my notes with that book, and he's talking about how to the ego, the present moment does not exist. The ego identifies with the past and future projections. Now, the problem is the anxiety gap grows the further out into the future we think because the brain thrives on prediction and response. The further out you think into the future, the less prediction and response you have, so you get more anxious because the, the outcome is uncertain, right? So going back to this hurried as a state of mind, think about um, expectations, right? I was just writing something about that in the coffee shop. Expectations are where all of our disappointment comes from. Meaning, when expectations aren't met, you're gonna be disappointed. Expectations are, are out in the future, right? You actually think about it. What are you expecting to happen? So how about we just expect to be? Just expect to be in this moment and to experience what this, you know, earth and this planet is giving you at this very moment. Then disappointment fades away because you don't have any expectations. I, I love studying the Zen philosophy and, and Zen Buddhism as well. And uh, one of the things that Buddha said was, enlightenment is the end of suffering. Suffering, I guarantee you, if you can't be present in a moment, you are gonna be in a constant state of suffering. That's the way the mind works. And the mind is the gateway to the spirit. And the body is the gateway to the mind. So follow that track, right? Mind, body, spirit. 
but the end of suffering. So the way you take yourself out of suffering is you do some belly breathing. You figure out how do I fast from this technology that is taking me out of this moment constantly. So that's the next phase of fasting for me is phones off, phones on airplane mode. Uh, how do you unplug and just be in the moment and, and not let all these things kind of be a magnet for your attention? So where your attention goes, right? And that's part of self-awareness. Where your attention goes, energy flows, and that's the results that will follow. Where attention goes, energy flows, and results will follow. If you have a hurried mindset, your attention will never be where you are, where your two feet are. And I guess a, a great quote to kind of tie this up, and then I'll give you any loose ends that pop into my head as I'm saying this, one of my favorite all-time quotes is, there's more to life than simply increasing the speed of it. That's from Gandhi. There's more to life than simply increasing the speed of it. What are you trying to get to by having a hurried mindset? What are you trying to get to if you're trying to speed through each day and each week? At the end of life is the end of life. You don't know what happens after life. You might have faith, but we don't know. We don't know what's going to actually happen, right, besides our faith. But at the end of this physical life is the end of it. So why are you racing to get to that? My brother said he saw something uh, on a commercial uh, about why can't every day be a vacation. And think about it, vacation is just a mindset. You unplug, you want to be present in the moment. People that go on vacation are thinking about what they have to do when they get back. That's not a vacation, right? The, the key to, to a great vacation is being present in the moment. So yes, every day can be a vacation, right? Happiness. Is about being present. Happiness is about having great energy. Great energy is about where you're placing your attention. And happiness is about freedom of choice. Don't be a prisoner to your mind, always thinking out into the future, always thinking uh, about the next thing you have to do or you should do. Just be, just be. Don't have any expectations, as hard as it is. And we all, you're gonna suffer from this. We all have this disease of the mind. And I'm speaking from, from a lot of uh, struggles throughout my life with this, and it's something I'm trying to be very aware of. So we're always going to have issues with it, but try to just be, right? Try to just be present in the conversation you're having with the next person. Try to be present in your next workout. Try to be present when you're with a loved one. All right, that's what I got for this episode. It'll be out, I believe, in September, officially on iTunes. Please hit the share button if you're watching this on Facebook later or you're watching it now. Pick the like button and leave a comment if you so please. And I'll be back with another episode soon. Peace.